hello everyone here we want to see about the basic television system so as you can see here at picture transmitter end camera tube we are using that can be used to convert picture information into a video signal if you see at the receiver end what we are doing here exactly vice versa so here you will need at the picture tube that we can use to convert video signal into a picture information after that we are using in a tv camera tube picture information it scanned that is from left to right side and from top to bottom so the video signal available is scanned and we can say that as a composite video signal so in composite video signal you will get there pure video signal you will get there horizontal synchronization pulses vertical synchronization pulses you will get for the synchronizing purpose at the receiver as well as at the transmitter side after that you are getting their horizontal blanking pulses and vertical blanking pulses so these are used to make horizontal and vertical retrace invisible so we can say here the edge drive block is available for scanning the picture information from left to right and v drive block is used to scan the picture information but how vertically matlab from top to bottom after that we are using their synchronization generator so we can say about that generator synchronization generator block to add synchronization pulses to synchronize transmitter and a receiver also video signal is modulated and it will get transmitted so at the receiver side it is received demodulated and again this audio signal is displayed sorry this video signal will get displayed on the picture tube how because here as we are doing the scanning from left to right and top to bottom in the same way at the receiver side if you will get received the signal that signal will get demodulated and again you will get the video signal which will get displayed on the picture tube with the same scanning like from left to right and from top to bottom so you can say you will get at the receiver end video signal again converted into a picture information so we can say here in the scanning principle we are using the scanning method that is used to convert electrical signal to a picture signal and do vice versa of that so for horizontal scanning what we are doing here we will require higher rate fast rate so we can do this by line by line so here for horizontal scanning drive voltage will be required 15.6 to 5 hertz but for the vertical scanning drive voltage will require 50 hertz supply after that we can say here scanning rate is fast enough to create the illusion of a continuity because of the persistence of the vision of human eyes so here we can see the diagram for the visual vestigial sideband technique ha so here we can see here about the interlaced scanning it is being required in analog television you can see here the diagram at the beginning of first field we are taking the number from top to bottom 1 2 3 up to 313 and we are saying 
end of first field that will be here from bottom to top and you can say the beginning of a second field that will be at the upward side you can see here the second even field thin lines so here we are showing the number after 313 you will get here from 313 to 625 so we can say it scanning is used in the dtv hdtv and the pcs using progressive scanning the quantity of picture information increases but the bandwidth requirement also increase so using a progressive scanning quantity of picture information increases so you will needed a compromise between picture quality and the bandwidth requirement kyunki jaise hum in picture information ka scanning ka quantity we are supposed to convert that into a good quality at that time what is happening bandwidth requirement is also going to increase so out of that what we are supposed to do we are supposed to compromise anywhere so we can say we will need it to compromise between picture to picture quality and the bandwidth requirement that we can do by doing the interlaced scan so here you can see for the television broadcasting picture is created by firstly odd lines from 1 3 5 7 9 being scanned from left to bottom left to right after that from top to bottom and it will be followed by scan of all even lines matlab pehle kya hoga odd line scan hongi left to right after that from top to bottom after that even numbers exactly from left to right from top to bottom and result is that a single scan that will create half image and in 50 hertz tv one scan takes one raised to 50 one divided by 50 so to make two half images you will require one by 25 seconds so we can say each and every 25 seconds will complete image will get formed matlab after every 25 seconds you will get the image as the process of scanning two half images takes place in only 1 by 25 seconds to the human eyes the two halves appear to be one and this process we can say as the interlacing scanning so for 50 half images are formed per second and that will make total 25 whole images so here the frequency of scan that we can call as the raster frequency which is near about 50 hertz so if we will calculate the line frequency how many line use total 625 so 625 into 25 you will get 1 for you 6 to 5 hertz so we can say 15.625 kilo hertz you can see here the different ranges for the lower half for very high frequency range and the ultra high frequency range so here we are doing the progressive scanning that will paint all of the scan lines onto a screen at the exact same time 50 times per second and progressing scanning was developed for computer monitors in order to decrease flickering so it will give us high precision and stability all digital conversion minimizes the signal degradation and progressing is optimized to video high image quality so we can say progressive scanning displays the whole picture at once so there is no interline blur with superior picture home video look like real movies and skins offer the more realism so now you can see here the different band range given for the television channel allocation